or if you're new here, hi. What the heck is my hair doing? So tomorrow is spring and I'm so excited. I'm a spring baby. I was born in October and I am obsessed with spring. Even though it's not obsessed with me, it gives me hay fever. Really sucks. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys 10 or 11 outfits that I'm gonna be wearing in spring and hopefully it'll give you some inspiration as well. So yeah, it's kind of like one of those videos, totally out of my comfort zone, but I really hope you guys enjoy the video because I've always wanted to do something like this and today's the day. I've been really obsessed with green at the moment. So there's a lot of greens, but it's mostly beige, white, you know the drill. You have to let me know down below which one your favorite outfit is and without further ado, let's get into the video. We've got this gorgeous little moment here. I love linen pants. They are so... So I got these linen pants from Princess Polly. They are so lightweight and so flowy. I'm going to be definitely wearing these more in like the warmer days. They're just so airy. I love them. And then this top is also from Princess Polly. It is just a cropped sweater with flared sleeves, which I love so much. I've just got some little danglies and I usually wear like a layered necklace with this as well, but I thought I'd go with a more simple moment. You could either pair these with like some white sneakers or some brown sandals. I would personally just go with the white sneakers just because that is what I love. I'm always wearing white sneakers. I just think that this would be the perfect little spring get up because it's not too warm and it's not too thick. Like it's just perfect. It's very airy and flowy with the flared sleeves and also the flowy linen pants. Flowy. I've said that too many times. You could also add like a little jute bag just for, you know, accessory, obviously. I just find this is such a cute fit for like going to a picnic or, you know, just going to the store. The amount of times I've worn this outfit to the store, it is quite embarrassing. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you will know that this fit is very familiar and it is obviously one of my favorites. So the dress and the sweater are both from Princess Polly. I am obsessed with this sage green color. Like I think it's so cute, especially for spring. It's definitely going to be the color that I'm gonna be wearing the most. Now it does have some super cute back detailing here. You can tie it up and it's also got the crisscross straps as well, which I love. You could easily wear like a layered necklace with this or like a tiny little short necklace, but I'm not wearing a necklace because I feel like there's a lot going on here already. You could honestly pair these with any kind of shoes, but I'm just wearing for the white sneakers, of course. I am a white sneaker girl. All these little detailings in the dress I just think are super cute. And then the flares, we love the flares. But yeah, I will definitely be wearing this during the springtime, especially on those more chilly days because this is a layered fit. So I'm wearing a sweater and I could easily wear some tights if it does get a bit chilly. If you see me wear this more than once, no you don't. Now this fit is definitely for the more colder days during spring. The jumper does look a bit weird because I've like tucked it into the skirt so it kind of makes the skirt look a little bit chunky but I am obsessed and I've been wanting to wear this knit all winter but I've never found the outfit for it. Can't believe I haven't worn this jumper throughout all of winter and now that it's spring I'm like yeah okay. I've paired this with some cream boots which you can kind of see. I got this knit from Glassens and I got this skirt from, I've had this skirt for a while. I feel like it was City Beach. I'm honestly not too sure, but it's got like this corduroy design on it and it's quite de-stressed at the bottom there, which kind of gives it a bit more character than just like your classic white skirt. I just feel like this is quite a cozy fit, especially for like those cooler nights that we get in spring. So I feel like, you know, if you're going on a dinner date, you could totally wear this, you know, dress it up with some jewelry. I'm super in love and I think this is such a fun little outfit. I forgot to mention that the boots are from Cotton On. shot but that's only because I'm wearing heels I feel like I'm gonna break an ankle so this dress I got from show po and when I first brought it I actually thought they were little lemons and not little yellow roses I originally planned to wear this dress to a wedding but I don't know if that's gonna happen now thanks to Miss Rona but she's still such a cute little dress especially for spring and summer wouldn't recommend wearing it on a windy day though very flowy, just saying. So I've paired this with some nude heels. You could probably do some white heels because it will make sense with the white background of the dress. I feel like this dress is such a cute staple for like fancier events like weddings, engagement parties, birthday parties, all that kind of stuff. But you could easily wear this on a sunny day, going to the beach or having a picnic. Like I feel like this is such a cute dress. You'll definitely be catching me wearing this cutie this season. I 
unzip the back of this up. No, you don't. Ignore it. This is a super cute linen blend jumpsuit. It's from Shopo and oh, I love a lot of Shopo's things. I feel like Shopo has spring written all over it. I have paired these with my brown, you can't really see, brown sandals. Just for more of a casual look, you could definitely pair this with heels for a more elegant look, but I'm going for the more casual look today. Super cute bow in the front, which I have been loving at the moment. Anything with the bow in the front, you've got my heart, honestly. I just love how flowy this is once again. A lot of my spring pieces are going to be quite flowy because I just love the air hitting my legs. I just love how elegant and pretty this is all by itself. Like it doesn't really need dressing up. Also, it's got pockets. This is amazing. I actually didn't realize it had pockets up until this moment. So I'm very happy with that. Now this fit is probably one of my favorites. It's so cozy and it's so comfy to wear and it's flowy. You should know I'm obsessed with the flowiness by now. I have paired this with some long socks and my beige boots. Once again, I'm obsessed with the boots, but you can easily have like a little white sneaker moment with this fit. I just love the boots. It kind of gives it a bit more character, I guess. And I've just got my dangly earrings on and a necklace. I could probably do like a layered necklace moment, but I think it would be too much because you've got a lot going on in the skirt. So I feel like a nice, simple necklace would be probably more ideal. I'm pretty sure I got this sweater from like a big W and I'm pretty sure I got this skirt from from like Ali Fashion many, many years ago. I got the boots from Cotton On. I've just been obsessed with this whole entire color scheme, like this beautiful light, I'm gonna say sage, and then the small little textures in the sweater and the big balloon arms. I'm in love. See myself going on a picnic in this outfit. Somebody take me on a picnic. I just find sweaters and skirt outfits so appealing. I'm not really, like I don't really wear shorts in the summer and the spring. I'm more of like a skirt girl. I mean, you could easily swap these out for a cute pair of shorts, but I'm just obsessed with this and yeah. of a casual fit more so for doing some gardening or going to the shop so I've just taken some really hip photos the tank top has a back detailing which I love so so much and just the linen shirt oh we don't need to go over it again. I love linen. You could wear this in so many ways. I love wearing my shirts down a little bit when I have them on. I don't know why. It just makes me feel really fancy kind of walking around like, ooh. The colors are very neutral as well. So it's like adding a pop of color without being too crazy. So the blue is a nice neutral blue. The linen brings in more of a cream tone, but it still looks really gorgeous. I think it is so much fun. And then adding in the black glasses, I feel like it just gives it a nice contrast. So, well, I mean, that's what I think anyway. So I got the glasses from Princess Polly. I got the linen shirt from Glassens. The top is from Cotton On and the jeans are from Glassens as well. They're like the high-waisted wide-legged jeans. So I've actually rolled them up on the bottom here because I'm actually very short and they drag on the ground. I've done a little layered necklace moment here just because I feel like it gives it a lot more character, especially with the chain. It goes with the more street vibe that we're going for, I suppose. You could easily just wear it without the top for like the more warmer days. But if there's a cool breeze in the air, you can just pop on the shirt. The tank top has like a small rib design as well. So it's not just a plain tank top. Love all these textures together. I think this fit works really well and I will definitely be wearing this bad boy in spring and summer. Okay, wait, I actually love this. I don't care how many TikToks I see that are like, ooh, tennis skirts are chuggy. No, they're not. They're such a staple basic piece and they're definitely not going out of fashion. This whole outfit honestly speaks to me on a different level. I'm really, really in love with this and I definitely feel like myself in this whole entire outfit. I am in love. Now you could definitely layer this outfit with a layered necklace as well, but I've just gone simple. I'm more of a simple girl today. I'm not feeling too extravagant. Underneath sweater is from Princess Polly. This beige sweater is from South Street. Tennis skirt is from Princess Polly as well. I've also just added some beige glasses to the mix and honestly, these glasses don't really suit me, but just imagine like the whole outfit, like she's cute. I thought this would be a super cute casual spring outfit more for those colder days because this is quite a thick jacket It's like a big dad coat. So it gives a very comfy Vibe the top is from princess Polly. I think the jeans are from cotton on the coat is from H&M Which I don't think they actually have anymore. Now I don't know what to call this But I'm wearing like some little heels just to kind of open up the outfit I guess if I was to wear like white sneakers with this fit it would be like too much white 
I don't know. And I feel like all the colors go really well with this limey green color. But the best thing about this outfit is the kiwi fruit earrings. I don't know where I got these earrings from, but I feel like they really snazz up the outfit. Come on, love them. And I think it honestly just pulls the outfit together. Like if it wasn't for the kiwi fruits, this outfit would not be. I love this play suit so much. I love this green color and I love the fact that it's a play suit. Like it's still flowy, but it's not gonna show my whole entire body. If there's a gust of wind, I'm safe. This was sitting at the bottom of my wardrobe. So it is a little bit crinkly. I tried to iron out the creases, but so yeah, this cute little moment here I got from Shopo. I just love all the little details on this dress, like the flowy sleeves, the front detailing here that actually is connected to this bow at the back, which is super cute. I have paired this play suit with my white sneakers, this little green like gemmed necklace. It's very fake, like it feels very cheap, but she's still cute though. I find this is gonna be a very cute staple piece when I just cannot be bothered wearing pants. Like you literally just have to get into it and you're done. That's your whole entire outfit. Innovative. It does zip up all the way to the top. I think I got it all the way up there. I'm by myself, I'm trying my best. You can wear this out and be super casual with your sneakers to like a lunch date or you know, just hanging out with some pals or you can definitely dress this up with some heels and maybe like a cute little jacket. You know, you can go on a dinner date, go on a night out with your friends. I thought I would pair the little white clouds with this play suit because it has little white polka dots all over it. So I thought that was a really cute kind of Matchy matchy there. And then the white shoes, of course, to kind of tie it all in together. I feel like this fit would look really cute with your hair up as well. A little ponytail moment. She's so cute. She's fresh. I am in love. <laughs> Okay, so this is the last fit that I've put together. I was actually supposed to wear this to a festival that's supposed to happen in October. So I may as well show you the fit now because I don't actually know if Miss Rona is going to behave herself. I got this t-shirt, I don't even know. It's just a plain white tee and it's just a little bit short on the sleeves and I love it. I got this dress from Supre and I'm absolutely in love with it. Like it's got a silky feel to it and it feels so luxurious. And then I'm just wearing the beige boots from Cotton On once again. I'm super obsessed with the layered dress look. In the winter, I was layering this dress with the long sleeved flare sweater that I love so much. But in the springtime and the summertime, I will definitely be layering dresses with t-shirts. I just absolutely love the look of a t-shirt and a dress together. I don't know why, like obviously the dress looks amazing by itself, but I just feel like it's more me with the extra layer underneath. I don't know why. Like, I'm not afraid of showing my collarbone or anything. I just feel a lot more comfortable like this. I love these boots with this outfit. I just feel like it really works with all the different tones in this dress. I'd say this dress is kind of torpy, but because it's got that sateen, shiny look to it, it definitely can work with these beige boots. I've got a layered necklace on just to kind of bring the look together. And then I've got these glasses that have the matching animal print design on it. I don't know, I'm super in love with this and I really hope I can wear it to the festival next month, but I'm honestly not too sure. So I'll just embrace it in the outfit. And even though I may or may not be able to wear this to the festival, I'll still wear this out to a cute lunch date or even just like on the go, going to the shops, doing some errands. I'm just super in love with this fit. And I probably, out of all the outfits that I've shown you today, this one is the one that I feel the most confident and comfortable in. Look at this mess that I have to deal with now. Like, <laughs> this video is fun, don't get me wrong. But the mess I have to deal with right now, like. Oh my God, okay. I'm exhausted. That took me all day. I started filming at 11 o'clock and it is now four o'clock. I filmed for five hours straight today. <sighs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below so you can let me know that you enjoy my content. Let me know down below which was your favorite outfit. Which one do you think suits me the most? I think this one is probably my favorite. I am absolutely obsessed with it. But yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna love you and leave you guys and I'll be seeing you in my next video next time I upload. So, ciao for now.